Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the generative fill without installing Photoshop. Yes, you don't need Photoshop to be able to use the generative fill from now onwards. I mean, if you want to use it, you can still use it without Photoshop Beta or Photoshop um, May Edition. And this is how you are going to get it. Follow me. Let's go into Chrome. And then there is a link I'm going to leave in the description for you. Once you click on the link, it's going to lead you to this place. Okay, Adobe's website and it says meet Adobe Firefly now in Photoshop. Firefly is a creative generative AI engine. It's just landed in Photoshop. Yes, and the way you create will never be the same. That is that is totally true. It has changed the way we design now. And get the Photoshop beta app. Discover the power of Firefly. No, we don't need beta. Once you click here, it's going to make you purchase the Photoshop software we don't want to click here if you don't want to use photoshop we want to use the web version and so we are going to click here on explore firefly and it's going to send us to a different tab and this tab is going to show us all this cool stuff guys this all this cool stuff i mean these are amazing stuff some of them are still in exploration we are still working on them i mean all these were created with just ai guys this this is amazing <laughs> this is amazing we are going to use the generative fail for today so click on generate and then it will come now guys this this is one cool feature about it you can click on it to use the original photos that you see over here or you can click here to upload your own photos let's click here let's upload our own photo and then let's just go to um which folder should i go to i'm looking for who am i <laughs> i'm looking let's just say i'm looking for i don't even know what to pick let me pick this okay let's pick this and then let's drag it into photoshop okay now what we have is these tools over here we have insert remove and pan now click on insert you can still use the Photoshop functions. Control plus to increase it, control minus to decrease it, and then the bracket, open bracket and close bracket. Just the same function, guys. Just the same function. Okay, so let's increase it. Now you want to pick this. You want to increase the size of your brush. Okay, click on add. And then now, guys, now what we want to do is you want to just click over here click over there that means that that's the place that we want the ai to affect so you can see i didn't even bring the a over here so it really didn't wasn't going to work so you have to be very precise with your wording your spellings and everything i want to type insect over here and then click on generate let's see whether it's really going to put an insert over there you might also have to wait for some few minutes as well it's going to give you four different options for you to choose from you can see how you create the insert over there it gives us different kinds of insets over there we can click on keep and then we can also reduce this the size of the brush you know by clicking on here and clicking on add and then reducing the size of the brush and then clicking on the eye area here grid and then let's type over here laser eyes okay laser eyes and click on generate it will begin to generate stuff for us as well but but guys let's look at something another violation of so this is how it works you just have to be careful you don't violate some of the the guidelines and then the things that uh, you know adobe adobe says we shouldn't go against so that is it you can you can just click on it we just violated some guidelines as well so um let's click on cancel and then to go back we could click on clear and it to clear everything it will clear everything also i want to talk about removing the background so to move the background you just simply have to click on background Okay, so we'll have to drag our mouse to background and click on background and then the background will just remove. The Firefly AI 
would work on it for us so let's just click on background so you see it removed the background too as well and so this is how you do it now you can go here and download it and then it will save on your desktop this is this is one cool feature about it and then you can be able to use it in your design software that you want to use but guys take notice they say we are tagging this content and so they are tagging it and you are going to put some watermarks around it not in a way that it looks uneditable it's just a small watermark somewhere let's open it and let's see how it looks like all right so they are going to put a small watermark somewhere for people to know that it was generated in adobe firefly or adobe website so you can see the tag over here very small over here um one will not even notice it okay so that is how we create something like this now guys if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well i love you all guys see you in the next video